Hey y'all, let's talk about numbers, numerals, and value. First off, the difference between a number value versus a numeral. Now, if somebody says to you, uh, uh, hey, I was eating five of your cookies and I looked out your window at two o'clock in the morning and saw three evil clowns looking in and scratching at you. Can you visualize the five cookies? Can you visualize the three? Yeah, I think you probably can, okay. When somebody says to you three, you see three of them, right? Okay, now if somebody says to you this, which we use, that is a numeral. That numeral three causes you to think of three something, spoons, cookies, evil clowns scratching at your door at two o'clock in the morning. Okay, what the number 83 represents, when you, when you see 83, immediately your brain tells you that's eight tens and that's three ones or units. Sometimes they call, they call them use for a unit. All right, so you visualize that. If somebody says to you 64, you think six tens and four ones or four units. And then your just mind tells you that. We're gonna use that to solve these new kind of word problems, which are really kind of old ones. But anyway, first off, we're gonna have two unknowns, which means we need two equations, okay? So here, let's read this. The sum of the digits in a two-digit counting number is 11. We'll stop right there. We have the sum of the two digits, let's call the tens a T. Let's call the ones, or units, u. The sum of those two digits gives you 11, right? There's one equation, we need another one. If the digits are reversed, the new number is 27 greater than the original number, blah, blah, blah. Okay, here's how you always do the second equation. This one's pretty simple. The digits add up to, you write that as an equation, tens plus units. The second one's a little more complicated, but it's not that bad, okay? The new number is 27 greater than the original. Okay, original number. If somebody said to you, 64, how would you break that up? You would say, okay, that's gonna be six tens plus four units, okay? So what you're gonna do, in other words, you're saying six times the 10 and then four times the unit. So the original number always will be this, 10 times T plus one times U, okay? Now we need to think of this equation. The new number, if the digits are reversed, well, you tell me, if the digits are reversed, the new number, let's say it's 64, it'd be 46, right? So instead of saying 10t plus 1u, you would say 10u plus 1t, right? All right, the new number is 27 greater than the original number. So in other words, this number is 27 greater, like if you had a scale, it's greater, 27 greater. So what you're gonna have to do is, you're gonna have to subtract 27, right? So if you subtract 27, this thing will even out. There's your equation. Now you can look at this equation and go, okay, well I have 10t on the left. I'm gonna subtract this t, I'm gonna move it over here. So 10t minus one t is nine t. Then one u minus 10 u will be negative nine u. And that's gonna equal negative 27. Now, if you look at this, all three of those are divisible by nine. So the easiest thing to do is just, you know, divide by nine. So we have t here, we have a minus u, and we have a negative three. Now, lo and behold, if you stick that equation right underneath this one, you're gonna get a nice, easy elimination problem. Okay, let's just go ahead and add. Two times t is on the left, 11, time, 11 plus negative three is eight. We have a t here is equal to four. That means the tens in the original was a four, so it's 40 something, okay? Well, what's the uh, unit? Well, the unit would be whatever t is, to get 11, so the unit's gonna be seven. So your original number was 47. They say if the digits are reversed, which means it's gonna be 74, the new number is 27 greater than the original. Well, it is, there it is. 74 is 27 greater than 47, so that's it. All right, let's try another one. The sum of the digits in two-digit counting number was nine. Stop, you tell me. You got a two-digit counting number, the sum of the digits is nine. How do you write that equation over here? We got t, we got plus, the unit equals nine. Good, okay. When the digits are reversed, the new number is 45 less than the original. Okay, well, let's pick up the original number. Original number is always, uh, I don't care, if you have 93, that's gonna be nine tens and three ones. So the way you figure out the original number is gonna be 10 times the number of tens plus one times the number of units, okay? Now, when the digits are reversed, the new number is 45 less than the original number. 
So you, the digits are reversed. Of course, we're going to write 10u plus t. Okay. Now, if you want to visualize this, here's your new number. This new number is 45 less than, right? So to make this number on the right equal, we're going to have to add 45, correct? So we're going to add 45, okay? And again, we just go move the t over to give us 9t, then move the 10u over to give us negative 9u. That's going to be 45. And again, you notice these are always 9s, but... Divide by 9, so you get t minus u equals 5. There we go. Okay, well, look at here. Stick it right underneath there. t minus u is 5. Add it straight up and down. 2 times t is 14. So t is going to be 7. All right. Which means t plus u is 9. The original one, the unit, is 2 because it adds up to 7 to give you 9. So there's your original number. The digits are reversed, which means you're going to go to 27, right? The new number is 45 less than the original number. Well, what, yeah, that's 27 plus 45 is 72. So there we go. And that's how they're always going to be that way. So, okay, try the practice problem. Pause it and see what you get. Okay, the sum of the digits of a two-digit counting number was 7. So here we go. We got T plus U equals 7. Okay. The digits are reversed. The new number is 27. Blah, blah, blah. Forget all that stuff. Let's just go ahead and put the original number. The original number is always 10 times t plus 1 times u. All right? And the digits are reversed. Let's go with, of course, 10 times u plus 1 times t. Okay. Now, the new number is 27 less than the original number. So, again, this is going to be like this. This new number here is 27 less. So, to make things even, we're going to have to add 27. All right, and our new setup is going to be 10t. The t gets moved over here. That's 9t. All right, a 1u minus a 10u is 9u. That's going to be 27. Okay, so divide by 9, all three of those, you get t minus u is equal to 3. There we go. We stick it right there, and that's going to be t minus u equals 3. Add that straight down. That's 2 times t is equal to 10. And t is equal to 5. So if the 10s in the original was 5, then the unit, since it adds up to 7, is going to have to be 2. So the number was 52. If you reverse the digits, that gives you 25. Is 25 27 less than the original number? Yes, it is. There we go. We figured it out. Okay. All right. That's it for today. See you guys next time.